What's up, metalheads? This is Luna with Holy Grail, and you're watching The Age of Metal. Hey guys, this is Elsa with the H Metal. I have here James uh, Luna of Holy Grail. How's it going, man? Great. How's it going? Pretty good. Um, so, um, so let's, let's talk about this tour for a minute. So, you have, I mean, we have such great thrash, you know, masters, you know, Anthrax, Exodus. Um, how does it feel to be in this tour, like a uh, tour like this? I can't, I don't have enough words to express it. It's totally awesome and we're totally thrilled. It's great. So how's been the tour so far? Uh, this is day three and we're still a little rusty, but um, apparently nobody noticed. So it felt, feels good. Yeah, yeah. In those three days, has, has there anything crazy went on yet? Any tour stories so far? Uh, last night, Exodus had a bunch of guys from Vince Neal's Girls, Girls, Girls Strip Club. Uh, uh, come down and they limoed us to their strip club after the show and uh, it's it's kind of hilarious we just partied over there it's, yeah it, 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 there was just like I don't know 50 year old stripper that was like following me I couldn't get her off me it's pretty, pretty bad <laughs> Nice. nice. All right. So um, let's talk about this tour. Uh, let's talk about the your album actually, um, Ride the Void, which just got released this year. You released your first. This is your second album actually. Uh -huh. Your first album, um, Crisis and Utopia, was released somewhere around 2010. Um, how was the recording process for this album? Um, it went pretty like painless. There is. Uh our friend, uh, Matt Hyde, produced it, and we did pre-pro a few months like before. It was like over the holidays, like from October to December, and we were just kind of going there once or twice a week, work on some songs, and then we'll go home and like work on them some more on our own. And then uh, once we had like a core, like 16 songs uh, sketched out, we went in and banged them out and then uh, picked our favorite 11 or so to, to go on the actual record. Did you guys do anything different this album that you, did, that you didn't do last album? Um, yeah, I mean, we it, the last album was very rushed and we had like two tours in between recording it and there was a problem too, the, the guy that was editing it, like so his hard drive failed or something, so we, like, we lost entire sessions and had to come back from tour and like re-record entire parts. And uh, it, this, this one was a little bit smoother process and um, a lot less stressful, I think. Plus, it was the first one too, it was like your first record, and so it was right. like, just really tense in general. Right. So. Yeah. Um, in your opinion, uh, what do you like better, touring or recording? Um, it's, a, it's a double edged sword. It's I, I love touring, but I also love recording. It's kind of like two different beasts. I can't really put them in the same boat. Right. Um, being a singer like you, um, you know, who does, you, know, you don't actually do growl, but you actually do more of a, of a, of a clean vocals. How do you prepare for uh, every day on tour? Well, it's hard sometimes, uh, especially these days, because I'm doing the merch and stuff, so I didn't really get to prepare at all today. I just went from the merch table and ran up on stage. Uh, the only thing I just try and keep as hydrated as possible mm -hmm. so my voice doesn't really dry out. And uh, But it, on a good day, I'd like to, you know, take at least 15, 20 minutes, do some vocal warm-ups and maybe some stretching before a set and then just calm the nerves and just go, go up there and kill it. Yeah. What are you guys plan after this tour? After this tour, we're just kind of sitting tight and waiting on a couple things uh, for U.S. in the summer and then uh, there's also a few tours we're waiting for in Europe for the early fall, like right after that. So it's nothing confirmed yet, so I can't really say. So, and uh, but I think it's in a good place, so we're pretty happy with the choices we have. Yeah. Uh, 
Any any last words you want to say to your fans? Uh, any fans out here in the age of metal? Stay hard, stay metal.